Talking to Brandon Huffman of 24-7 Sports. Now let's shift gears to this Arizona 2020 class. I know that the, some of the top uh, players still available, a couple of wide receivers, Brendan Rice, Matt Polk. Just what have you seen out of them recently as it seems like they're starting to get close to making commitments? Yeah, it seemed like Polk looked like he could be getting close to a decision earlier in the spring. Oklahoma State, where his dad played, is still a big factor in his recruitment. Cal uh, had an official visit from Polk. They're still weighing heavily in his decision. So a, a decision could be coming at some point for him. Brendan Rice, on the other hand, he was all set to make a decision. I think he had said kind of what late May, early June as kind of his ideal timeline for a decision. Took an official visit to Colorado the last weekend of the spring official visit period, then decided to push back his recruitment, but did taken unofficial to Michigan during the summer and then was back in the big house for their season opener against Middle Tennessee State. Raved about the visit. I think Michigan's in a very, very good spot for Brendan Rice. I think that, you know, he's still going to be looking at some of these other schools. There was a lot of buzz early on for Oregon. Colorado made a big impression on him when he held that official visit. And right now, I think Michigan is the team to beat for Brendan Rice, but it's still a long way to go. There's other teams that are recruiting him that continue to Try, you know, they're, they're not giving up hope yet, and they're kind of hoping that his pause and his delay in making a decision means there's still a little bit of a crack open for them to get after him. When you look at this entire Arizona recruiting landscape, you know, multiple classes here down the line, who do you want to see more of? Who has jumped out to you that could be an intriguing prospect as the season progresses or even a couple years down the road? Well, I would say I'm really looking forward to seeing more and more of Quentin Somerville over these next couple of years. Uh, he's a player that really jumped onto the scene early on. Uh, but, you know, a lot of it was just kind of early anticipation of him, early evaluations, early development. But he's still got a little bit of a ways to go to be that elite prospect. But he's on the right track. He's got all the tools. He's got all the makeup. Uh, still a little bit on that raw side. But he's got a lot of upside. So that you just want to see naturally him over these next couple of years, really realize that potential that he has. He's been our top-rated player out of Arizona for the last couple of years uh, in his class, so we just want to continue to see that development. Steven Ortiz is another kid. I mean, I, I loved him this spring when I saw him on the 7-on-7 seven -seven circuit. Just want to see him get a little bit thicker. That's really the only knock on him right now is he's a little bit slight in size, but his cover skills, his ability to play the position is, is excellent. He's a high-level prospect as a DB. Just needs to get a little bit thicker. I'll tell you, the guy who's actually, I think, a top three player in the state right now, I'm just looking forward to seeing, period, is Tosh Baker. And I'll get that chance to see him when Pinnacle plays the Eastside Catholic. Obviously, we, we know that he's an elite prospect. He had offers from all over the country. He's headed to Notre Dame. He's the number three tackle in the country, an elite athlete playing basketball as well. But other than his football film, we haven't seen him do much football uh, during the offseason because of AAU basketball. So I'm looking forward to the chance to see him in person. And he's going to, like I said, have have that opportunity to really showcase his skill set against the number one prospect in the country who's a defensive lineman in JT Tui Molo. I'm probably most eager to see a guy who's a senior right now who in four months from now will be probably off to college as an All-American. But I just want to see how good he looks because that 6'8 basketball player, you know, getting a lot of comparisons to another former Notre Dame lineman from out this way who played basketball in the offseason in Ronnie Stanley. But there's a lot of people that think Tosh Baker might be better at that same stage. I'm looking for that opportunity to finally get to see that in person myself. Brandon Huffman, there is a reason you are the best in the business. Thanks so much. And make sure to uh, keep it to the recruiting roundup here each and every week on Sports 360 AZ.